What's going on guys, Necromancer Noob with another Remnant 2 video. Today we got some more Remnant 2 DLC 3 news. Particularly we got a little teaser of the new mode that is being added which is Boss Rush Mode. So in this video we're going to talk about the video that they released, we're going to talk about that. We're going to go over the details that they got on their website as well. Uh, as we know DLC 3 is announced at September 24th that's when it's coming out so in about two weeks so my guess is next week we'll get a solid trailer for the actual DLC 3 this was more so of a teaser for the boss rush mode which is pretty self-explanatory but we're gonna go over what they got in the details and what exactly we can look forward to so up on the left side I got this from their website we're going to talk about this boss rush mode it will be a new game mode for players who want to get straight into the action and go up against bosses you will have the option to play the mode either solo or with fellow travelers via multiplayer. Choose from the three difficulty options, triple threat, a three boss run, trial by fire, a seven boss run, and the gauntlet, a 19 boss run. And put your survival skills to the test. The goal is simple yet extremely challenging. Successfully fight hordes of enemies including aberration to go up against bosses in the run to earn the elusive drops including weapons that you may have been missing. Along the way you will earn temporary buffs during the run that grant stat bonuses and or powerful massive passive bonuses as well that will prove to be helpful. Accessing the mode will be easy as you can head to the world stone in ward 13 and select boss rush similar to selecting campaign or adventure. Here, you will choose their preferred difficulty and go into your run. In addition to the new game mode and other quality of life changes and new system, prisms will be introduced in a free content update. Prisms are new features to the rebalance fragment system that can be leveled up to grant additional stat bonuses. So that covers at least the main details that we got so far. Like I said, next week I'm sure we're going to get a nice full length video for the DLC number 3. But overall, boss rush mode seems to be a pretty good idea. Now, if you guys have played Remnant from the Ashes, you're probably familiar with survival. Survival, a lot of people wanted survival. I wanted survival personally, but I think this is a pretty good change for us. I think we'll enjoy boss rush mode quite a bit. And hear me out, right? I mean, in survival, you get randomly generated into a random area, you have to run through the area, and then you get to the boss. So essentially, it just sounds like we're skipping the whole running through the areas, and you know, you just fight a horde of enemies, and then you go fight the boss afterwards, which I think is a much better layout. I think boss rush mode is just, uh, it just sounds like a better idea. Not to mention, I think it makes a lot more sense as where you just pick the difficulty, you run through those bosses in that difficulty. Opposed to survival, survival had a very different difficulty. You still picked your difficulty, but it also got harder the longer you spent. You'd also level up, you know, d defeating enemies, bosses, etc. But just the whole thing of like, if time went on a little too much, it would just make the game, or at least that mode, significantly harder. Or at least the enemies and bosses, we'd have more health, more damage, etc. So I think this is a good change, like I said. The nice thing too, it's free. So if even if you don't have DLC 3, 2, or 1, you can still play this boss rush mode, which I think is a great idea. I'm all about that. I'm all about free updates, so that's a W for them. But aside from that, that basically covers everything in this video. September 24th is DLC 3 release along with this boss rush mode. Um, let's see, we got a 3, 7, or 19 boss gauntlet that you can run through. It seems like they have a pretty interesting mechanic that you can obtain weapons that maybe you've been struggling to obtain somewhere else. I don't know if that just means you fight the boss and you can get that variation easier or if there's actually a different mechanic that they're going to introduce and allow some of these very hard abstract weapons that are normally very hard to get. Maybe they're making it easier for everyone. Who knows? We'll find out in like two weeks time. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is in this DLC 3, the slight teaser we got right here, right? So this is the image, or at least this is the part. I'll show the, the image afterwards, but this is Nerud, or at least the new biome. It looks very interesting. I like the details. From this image alone, I immediately thought, okay, there's going to be a lot of verticality. And reading the description, lo and behold, they have a new mechanic just for this, right? So let's talk about this for a little bit. 
Return the Nehrud and uncover a mysterious place preserved in time where alien farmlands are tended by robots for inhabitants who have long since perished. But time corrupts all, rogue AI and robotic creations threaten at every turn while you search for the secrets of the colossal entity that dominates the skyline. In a brand new storyline, you will need to uncover the secrets within the Necropolis world of Nehrud. As you enter this overworld, you explore new dungeons, experience a new glider traversal system not found in other worlds, acquire powerful gear, including a new archetype, the Warden, meet unexpected allies, and face new threats as you set off to defeat the colossal entity that watches over Nehrud. Alright, but all in all, that just about covers all the news we got so far. We got a teaser for Boss Rush Mode coming September 24th. A little teaser for the DLC number three coming September 24th. That's going to be a new biome in Nehrud, a new mechanic. We also got an upgrade to the fragment system. They haven't talked too much about it from what it sounds. It seems like there's just a lot more liberty on what exactly you can buff and upgrade for those. So we'll just have to see what they got to offer for us. But anyways, that covers this news i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe comment it all helps out we're pretty close to 800 we're trying to hit a thousand you know hopefully by the end of the year but we'll see how it goes anyways hope you have a good rest of your day i will catch you guys in future remnant videos and other video games so i will see you guys have a good one Bye bye